crazy driver here. Foot over foot. <laughs> Oh, don't forget the horn. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Woohoo! What a beautiful evening! How's it going? Yeah, I think you're good. Pick these skis up for 40 bucks. They're good for the snow. They're good for, well, here we have beautiful Twin Lakes yeah, we're down with the beautiful 59 Silver Line Swift. Completely restored. So here we have better boat bumpers. Look at these guys at work. Just protecting the boat from all sorts of damage. Look at that. You just put them in. Right there, you're when you're uh, ready to leave, uh oh, it's gonna hit the side. Oh yeah. No. But when you're ready to land. When you're ready to land, just off. throw them over the side, and you're good. To, and you're golden. Your boat will be. <laughs> your boat will be protected for years to come. One of the perks of these better boat bumpers is they are inflatable. Here we have your little filler up hole. Right on the top here, you can't really see it. But anyways, you can adjust the pressure. You can adjust the air pressure in these better boat bumpers. In my case, I have them blown up all the way. And here you have them just, just doing their job. <laughs> so if anybody needs some boat bumpers, I would suggest better boat bumpers from Better Boat. <laughs> I'll put the Amazon link in the description below and you guys will be able to pick them up for 60 bucks for two. You should say how much these boat bumpers. We are here pulling Shane up in the tube. First tuber, of, first tuber of the season behind the boat. We'll see how it goes. We don't know what's gonna happen, but we're just gonna go easy.
So I bought this boat September 4th, 2020, and finally finished it like September 20, 20th, 21st or so, 2021. So it took me a year and like two weeks. I obviously didn't work on it full time, but um, every spare moment I had, I would be working on the boat. So I probably could have got it and done a lot faster, but um, you know, life happens, things happen and I'm just glad to have it finally finished. It's um, good to have it out here on the water, being able to use it, and I'm glad that it works fine and it doesn't sink. I am moving soon, so I'm kind of busy. I'll probably be busy the rest of this year. So if I do start another project, it might be the beginning of 2022. So, and I don't exactly know what I want to do yet. If you guys have any uh, suggestions of what kind of projects you want to see next, <laughs> just let me know. I don't know yet. We'll see. Thanks, everyone, who did follow along with the project and gave some good advice and feedback on the project as it was being done. It was very helpful. So we got a good day in of tubing and skiing. The boat performs pretty well. I mean, pulling tubes is no problem with this guy. It almost needs like a 50 horsepower motor for pulling skiers, but the 40 horsepower did fine. It got, got me out of the water at least. It's a perfect boat to learn how to ski behind, so I might just teach people how to go skiing. Like all my nieces and nephews, all 15 of them or 16 of them. But right now, I'm going to start this guy up, show you guys what uh, the whole shot is and uh, just how it takes off and performs. I'll do a takeoff full throttle and then I'll obviously back off a bit and then I'll show you guys just like a half throttle takeoff. So this is trim all the way down. I'll do a full throttle takeoff.
So I'll do like a half throttle takeoff with the trim partially up. Okay, good. I got you. You want to all get in the boat? You'll get in the boat? Keep it where you want it while you go get your truck. I'll go get the truck. 